Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to animate text in Codices visualization. To do so I have created a project in which I have set the structured text as the programming language and I have added the required variables and a piece of code which I will explain to you later and also I have a visualization here. So as you can see here in the visualization I have three elements Indeed, I have two rectangles and one uh, switch. The switch is asso associated with the animate boolean variable, which you can see here as well. So animate is a boolean variable, and the switch here is associated with that. It, this means that whenever uh, animate is true, we will have the animation. Whenever the animate is false, the size of the font will be fixed it will not change I have two rectangles here for each one I have determined some text here I have animated text px which will in in this case the size of the text will change but based on the size of the pixel and in the second one I have animated text with points you can see the text here I also have uh, this variable f size or font size which is an integer variable with the initial value of 10 and I'm changing the value of font size here within the program so font size is increased by 2 and it's uh, limited between 0 and 30 indeed. it's because of this mode function here I also have a pulse timer here which is used to generate in it a uh, kind of clock the pulse timer receives as its input it receives the negated output of itself and the preset time is set to 300 milliseconds so here we have a, a clock uh, where we have uh, one pulse let's say every 300 milliseconds and whenever we have not output of the timer then we do this increasing or increment uh, for the size of the font. So this is quite simple piece of code. Yeah. Uh, however, let's see how we do it in the visualization part. H here we need to deal with the font variables, but initially you may not see it here in the list of the properties. You need to click on this expert view and then it will appear here, font variable. We have the size for the font in this video I'm going to discuss only about the size and here I already have associated this size with the uh, F underline size variable here we have two options to select pixels or to select points I have selected pixels for the first one and for the second one I have selected point so, it, so that you can see the difference here yeah? and that's all that you need to do here in this case you, you will see that the size of the font here is determined within the program and we will see it uh, while we have the project in the run alright so now we can try to uh, log in and run the code run the project and here we go so initially as you can see here we have animate having the value of false as a result the size of the fonts in these two rectangles are not changing so for the first one we have 10 pixels and for the second one we have 10 points because the initial value for the font size is 10 as soon as I change the state of the animate from false to true you see that the size of the font changes and you can see it here as well yeah, the values it starts from 0 goes up to 30 and then it goes back to 0 I indeed it goes up to 28 we don't have uh, 30 here and here you see the effect so this might be useful in some uh, visualization cases in which you want to have the animated text within your visualization 
uh, that's all for this video as I mentioned at the beginning this is a, a kind of a simple tutorial on how to animate text in the codices visualization I hope you have enjoyed it and as usual see you next time